Hi, this is Matt with Nova Voice and Data Systems. Uh, we're on the internet at www.enova.us and I'm going to show you today how to install Network E-Manager. Network E-Manager is the administration program for the Toshiba CTX and uh, CIX uh, systems. It's also the administration for the uh, voicemail when you have a uh, media application server or an ES uh, voicemail. On to begin, we're going to double click on the uh, setup icon and we're going to tell it to run. Um, I'd recommend you unpack the files um, to the specified location, whatever it suggests, um, just because usually you'll run into some uh, one problem uh, or another. We've already run into a problem where we were on the uh, we were on a domain and it needs to be in a work group. So you're going to go through this process multiple times. Um, the whole install should take about 15 to 20 minutes. There's um, some major components that need to be added, like the uh, SQL Server, and um, you're going to add um, uh, IIS services and everything like that. Um, the way you want to have this uh, uh, e-manager set up on your network is you want to install it on one computer, whether it be a server or um, just some computer uh, that no one uses. and um, you want to have everyone else is going to access it, access it through the uh, network. Uh, the way you do that is you open up Internet Explorer, you type in the IP address or the uh, DNS name of the server that's running eManager, and then you're going to put slash eManager. Um, and that way you can have all you access to all the features of eManager. You're not going to have to install it on multiple PCs. Um, if you have a uh, media application server, the Toshiba Mass, um, that will also have it pre-installed. And you just have to type in the IP address or DNS name followed by um, uh, slash e-manager. Toshiba's included this smart checker. It used to be that um, you wouldn't get any kind of feedback, but now they've included this smart checker to see if you're um, connected to a domain and if you have WinAdmin installed. If either of those conditions are true, you're not going to be able to install it. Um, you can see we've already removed it from the domain here and put it in a work group, and uh, WinAdmin has never been installed. WinAdmin is the older administration program for the Toshiba CTX. So we're going to install now, and it's going to begin installing some of the components. Um, we're going to uh, skip through those parts because there's not really much to see. You do want to make sure you have your um, Windows XP or uh, Server 2003 CD with you, um, as you might end up needing it for um, you know, some patch or something like that that uh, Network E-Manager requires. It does require a lot from the computer you're running, including IIS and um, SNMP and FTP services. Um, so it's a little bit involved program. Um, also you're going to want to have internet access just in case there's um, some Windows updates that need to be done for the you know, .NET framework or something like that. Okay, now we're actually getting into the process of installing uh, eManager. Um, it's going to go through this uh, status bar and then there'll be another pop-up. Um, pretty much just let it do what it needs to do. Um, it'll ask you if it or let you know if you run into any problems. Okay, we're going to click next. Going to read the uh, end user license agreement. Accept it. Install it in the manager folder. While this is installing, it's a good time to mention that you should probably have uh, any virus software uh, turned off and um, any kind of uh, firewall turned off, whether that be with Windows Firewall or some other third party. Um, it tends to uh, conflict with uh, the eManager, and so you can, uh, you can reactivate that uh, virus protection or uh, firewall after the fact. It's just um, during the install, you want to make sure it's off so it can access um, the different areas of the computer. Okay, eManager is finished running through the uh, um, install process and it's going to ask us to restart our computer now. We're going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so we just restarted the computer and uh, now we have the uh, network eManager icon on the desktop. I'm going to double click on that. Um, this brings me to an important point. You want to make sure that uh, pop-up blocker is turned off on Internet Explorer. So you can see right here you got your first window that popped in the second window. Um, if you have pop-up blocker on, eManager won't work. Um, there's multiple pop-ups used for um, 
uh, the administration process as you're going through. It's just a part of the GUI. So the first time you load it up, it will take a couple seconds for it to come up. Matt, thanks a lot for the video. Do appreciate it. Uh, this is Jim. I work with Matt uh, here at uh, Nova Voice and Data Systems. And uh, remember uh, that we're here to support you and we're here to help you. And uh, look at our many other videos concerning the, the different products that we have. And there's some more videos for um, uh, eManager. So uh, don't hesitate to call us. It's a great system. And again, we not only do telephone systems, we also do computer cabling, and we also uh, install networks and servers and Microsoft uh, programs, and we can maintain your desktop. Uh, this is Jim and Matt with uh, NOAA Voice and Data Systems, and please visit us on the web at www.enova.us. Thank you.